What guys? I get to control the computer oh. today. <laughs> Alex is next to the computer. <laughs> okay, intro time. I'm Alex. I'm Krista. And this is The Sense. Welcome back. Thank you for coming here. We're here live from my closet. There's a few things different today. One being that we're live from Krista's closet. <laughs> <laughs> we decided that um, it's a good space for it. It's so cozy. It's I love Krista's bed closet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little small and like it's kind of hot right now, but it's all right. We'll be fine. Um, I apologize if you hear a dog barking in the background. He's outside, uh, but you might be able to still hear him. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it's too bad either. What else? I mean, like it's been a couple weeks, but that's what we planned for. Right? I think every two weeks is good. I think it's good too. I mean, if we were more on top of things, every week would be sweet. But every two weeks, what you guys are going to have to settle for. Yeah. And also, that means we have double the adventures to share with yeah. you. So... How was your weekend? How was your Easter weekend? Or what weekend? It was good. Like, the, last couple. The, this last weekend, I was in Corvallis, and I hung out with my roommate, my roommate's aunt. Uh, Does she call her aunt or aunt? No. It's... She calls her Yadida, which is oh. her name. <laughs> What's her name? Yadida. Yadida. It's Y-A-D-I-R-A. It's like Yadira, but like... That sounds cooler that Yadida. way. Yadida. Yeah. Do you say aunt or aunt? I say aunt. Like, okay, sorry. I just always I perplex know. me when I hear people say aunt, and I'm like, whoa, where are you from? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that to I like it. It sounds silly. <laughs> it sounds better. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't know. I have an aunt, and I call her Aunt Mary, but anyways. Yadida. I call her Edita. She has an organic farm called Sunbow Produce out at Corvallis. So, so Portland. <laughs> so Oregon. Yes. Like, I I feel like I had an Alex weekend and you had a Krista weekend. Yeah, we switched. We really did. did. Yeah. Freaky Friday. Because <laughs> <laughs> I also went to a gem shop. Oh, um, I've been to this gym shop. I told you to go to it. And yes. it's amazing. It was Newcomb. We're not positive on how we're pronouncing it, but it's N-E-U-K-O-M-M. It's awesome. It is awesome. If you like gems, rocks, everything to everything, do everything with Everything's really that. pretty in there. And they were really nice. Uh, he explained... Like, what all the stones in there were. I got some smoky quartz and some calcinite and a rose quartz pressure massage thing. Massage tool for it, yeah. the win. Yeah, it's a massage tool. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll post some pictures of them. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely will. It's a little suggestive looking, but, you know, it's for massage. <laughs> it's for massage only, you pervert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so my weekend, mm -hmm. I went to uh, Portland, Portlandia. I think that's how you pronounce it, Portland. Portland. <laughs> yeah. And I went to a comedy show. Oh, first of all, I went to McMinimins, Been Edgefield. There. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Different bars, different things to do there. And I stayed in the hostel, which was... Usually, I'm not opposed to hostels, but it's cheaper but there was these ladies that came in at, like, 2 in the morning with their flashlights, and they are like, where's my bed? Where's my bed? I'm like, why didn't you guys not figure this out earlier? Yeah. I was so angry. But I think it's because I was tired. Yeah. What, what, what night was it that they were coming in at 2 a.m.? Saturday night? I mean, that's kind of to be expected. To be expected, but, I mean, to not have anything figured out, like, they were just getting there. Like, getting into the room. Like, you didn't scope out where you are going to sleep? I don't yeah, know. I don't true. know why it annoyed me so much. But that's it did. Funny. Anyways, wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Um, it's fine. Okay. I also <laughs> we were looking at the computer for those wondering why it went silent. Um, because Krista isn't in control of it and it makes me paranoid. <laughs> where I'm just like, I pushed record. It's fine. <laughs> oh my God. Alex is running the computer this week. No, <laughs> it's like failed podcast. Like, uh, shh. Oh my God, I, Any I'm looking at it. It's fine. I need to let go. <laughs> Anyways. Let me have control. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
anyways, so I stayed at McMinimins, went to the Portland Day Fair, uh, got a cool necklace, and then later that night went to Christina Pazitsky's comedy show at Helium Comedy Club. It was amazing. Um, Jealous. I, I love comedy. How many live comedy shows have you been to? Two. Cool. Uh, four, if you count Jokers, but for some reason I never count those. I wouldn't, I would not count that. I don't know yeah, why. I, I mean, I guess, but. I don't know why, I just hate Jokers. <laughs> a joker sucks. I've never been to a live comedy show at all, but mm-hmm. like. Uh, Watching stand-up on Netflix yeah, is awesome. Yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah. So. Yeah, this was awesome. I wonder how it's different. Here is my good story from the weekend. Yay! It, it was like good slash scary, scary movie moment. <gasps> oh, sweet. Yeah, so we found out from one of the Uber drivers. I went with my friend and coworker to Portland. So we were taking an Uber to the comedy club and he was like, oh, there's a night market and like told us where it was. And I was like, sweet. I'll go to this night market. It sounds awesome. And I, I also Googled it. Uh-huh. And it, I didn't see the dates. The dates were for the w- previous weekend. Okay. And so we get there after the comedy show, and it's like this big warehouse, and there's no night market. It's just down this alley, and it's like, ah, uh, crap. And like an empty warehouse? Yeah. I mean, it's That's... not. It wasn't an empty warehouse. It was actually like a furniture place, but they have a, a market there. That's creepy. Yeah. Was there, like, a small clown beckoning you to come play, too? Like No, it was worse. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, we, I call another Uber to come pick us up, because I was like, this has got bad news written all over it. Like, two <laughs> yeah. girls alone in a dark alley. Cool. <laughs> great. Great job, Alex. <laughs> and so, I call the Uber. They won't go down the alley. They park, like, down the road. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So, I'm walking down the alley, like, whatever. This is cool. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Mm-hmm. And there's a guy in the middle of the alley between us and the uber and i'm like again it's cool there's two of us one of him and he has his head down and like a black um jacket hoodie jacket Mm -hmm. and he like has something in his hand and we get closer and i cross over to the other side of the road because it's like oh heck no Uh i'm not even walking by this guy yeah as we get closer i notice he's wearing a white mask like no from the strangers no like no yeah what yeah and so then I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, this ain't, this is not happening to me. This oh is not God. happening. Uh... And he, and he looks up at us like slowly, and he starts scraping the ground with this pipe. He has a pipe in his hand. What the fuck? Yeah, he's is scraping. This tr- is this a hoax? Is this like a. Okay, continue. Well, I'm so every yeah. scary movie I've ever watched, the blonde girl or the black guy dies first. So, uh uh-huh. uh, not today, people. <laughs> I cross over to the street and I'm like, okay, and I look over. My friend is recording and she's getting closer to the guy. Stop it, friend. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hi, uh, what you doing? Like, can you come run with me? <laughs> and she was just like. I, I can't believe this is happening. I'm going to get a video of this creepy guy. And I'm no. like, girl, do you want to die? <laughs> uh, and I start taking off running towards the Uber. And then I notice this other guy's recording. And so we're not sure if he was just recording because this guy was so creepy or if he was recording us, like, as a practical joke. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyways, I'm not sticking around to find out. No. So then my friend, so she has the shaky video. Maybe I'll post it on the Instagram. She has a shaky video of what happened. And I'm, like, booking it, like, Bye. <laughs> So, okay, so the he was just walking, like dragging a pipe. No, he was like in in the alley, like in the middle. It was just down this alley. Okay. Like he was just standing there. He was okay. So I thought he was like a homeless person. So that's why okay. at first I wasn't really too concerned. Where was this other person recording? He so okay. It's hard for the people at home that can't see what I'm about to do with my hands, but I'm going to show Krista, and sh- maybe she'll try to translate for you what I'm just trying to get <laughs> okay. out of my mouth. Anyway, so this is the alley. Okay. There's another little alley over here. Like, And so he was kind of over here, and then he, like, I don't know where he came from, because I just got scared seeing this guy. So then there was another guy that came, and he was dressed normal, and he had his phone and was recording the scary guy. Okay. So it was, like, the alley was, like, adjacent to the alley that mm-hmm. the weird guy was in? Mm-hmm. And... The, there was a normal clothed person recording the weird guy also. Yeah. My friend and the normal person were recording the scary guy. And I was just the blonde girl booking it to my Uber. Okay. This is weird. I feel a setup. Like, I feel... A... Yeah. And, okay, here's the other thing. The next day was Easter. 
slash April Fool's Day. So I feel like it was definitely probably set up. Again, not sticking around to find out. Like, there were no one else walking. What time of... What time was it? It was 10.30 at night. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't care if it was a practical joke. I hope I'm on YouTube somewhere getting scared. <laughs> I hope I made good TV for somebody, but again, not sticking around to find out. No. And it was so creepy. And it's like, it, first of all... How did they know people were going to be down there? Yeah, that. Um, And, like, from our favorite podcast... SSDGM, gotta remember that. Yeah. Like, stay sexy, don't get murdered. That's Hi. what that means. I looked great, and I'm not murdered. <laughs> no. So, and fuck politeness is another one yeah. you have to remember. All, yeah, so, also don't be dumb and record. <laughs> and, and like, like, yeah, so your friend. But at the same time, she has a cool video of this creepy guy. I mean, it's kind of blurry, because I was like, come on, and then uh-huh. she started running. Um, this is weird. Hi, I don't yeah. know what... Okay, I want to say it's a prank. I think it's a prank. I'm like, it's too creepy for- 70% sure it was a, a prank. Yeah. Or like a setup in some way. Like the guy recording also knew the guy in the white mask. Yeah. I definitely think because the next day was April Fool's, I feel like it was a prank. Like remember those clown sightings or whatever? Yeah, that was a very weird time. Yeah. That's kind of what I felt like it was. Mm-hmm. But we will never know. I did look it up on YouTube to see, like, Portland pranks or... Yeah. I don't even know how you'd look it up, but I kind of looked on YouTube and didn't find anything. It was like, oh, So if anyone in Portland knows about some weird prank people <laughs> that wear white masks... Please and, let us know. And Yeah. And target young, pretty blonde girls. <laughs> they probably target anybody. But... That's, I don't know. That's such a weird thing. It was creepy. Thing. They did a really good job if they were just pulling a prank. Shit. I know. Um, well, in better news. Like, <laughs> in lighter news. <laughs> what else happened? I mean, uh, <gasps> McMinimus is always fun. McMinimus so. is fun. Uh, anyways, that's wrapped up. That was a good weekend. Mm-hmm. And they have a Lazy River hot tub. End of story. Good, good weekend. Lazy River hot tub. Yeah. Uh, amazing. <laughs> and it was the full moon, so I mean... That's yeah. always fun. Um, this upcoming weekend, I'm doing henna. I bought a booth at the Healing Light Expo in... Very cool. In Kennewick uh-huh. at the Red Lion. Yeah. And I will be doing henna two days in a row. Come see me. Yeah. We'll have to post that somewhere. Oh, yeah. So people can come actually get henna from you because you're a really good artist and oh, it looks thanks. beautiful. Thank you. Um, this weekend, I'm going back to normal Krista weekend and I'm going to Seattle to see Shiba-san. Uh, which is house music. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to dance at a club and hang out with my friends. The huge. Mm-hmm. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I had a cool encounter with uh, Yadita's, like, uh, boyfriend, I guess. They've been together for a super long time. They met on the organic farm. Oh, and they, like, so fell cute. in love. It is a really, really romantic story. It's an Oregon story. love story. Oh, man, it really is. Oregonian so love story. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, both farmers, and um, they they don't have, like, TV or anything. Uh, they're, it's, like, a stone house that they live in, and there's an, the like, the bathroom is, like, outside, but not, like, in a weird way. Like, it's in a room. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just an outhouse sort of situation, and then there's, like, a separate place to sleep for guests and all that so it's very cute i love it um anyways uh we were talking about books and our favorite ones and like nate and i were just like talking about how much we love different books um and i mentioned that i love like i want to read ulysses because it's notoriously one of the hardest things to read but it's like worth it and the structure is different from anything else and it's like a literary work of art and he, like, disappeared for 30 minutes and came back with a copy of Ulysses and gave it to me. Whoa! I know, and I thought it was so, cool. so sweet of him. So he's a really nice guy. And I love you, Dita. She cooks the best food I've ever had in my life. And... I just love her name. I just... <laughs> Say it again. Yadita? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Yadita. Hi, I'm Yadita. Yadita. <laughs> Yadita Ruiz. <laughs> Ooh, that's so cool. So... Um... Did you do anything the weekend before? I went to Portland. Um, um, I just love Portland. Yeah. <laughs> Hung out. Uh, had a good time. It was my 
technical birthday weekend, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I got a song for my birthday, oh. which was so cool. I wish somebody would write a song about me. <laughs> You got to date a songwriter, and then uh, <laughs> you got to find a musician. And then you can, there you go, you get a song. Okay, I'm on the hunt. Okay, no. <laughs> musicians, look out. <laughs> Write a song about me. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Yeah, that was a good song. I showed it to you. Yeah, it's addicting. <laughs> it's still stuck in my head. It's not about me, but I'll just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> just fill in the blanks. Yeah. A lot of it, I mean, it's about, like, stuff I'm into, so some of it's kind of about you, I So guess. it's practically so- my song, too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if I ever meet this guy, i be like, you wrote a song about me, and he's going to so- be like, what? Why like, doesn't just- I be like, pretend with me, please? I mean, part of it is kind of. <laughs> it's a good song. Uh, anyways, I guess we can get into it. Oh, yeah. What's our theme this week? We. Our topic. Our topic is the mandala effect. Yes. I love this because the more I look into it, the more I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Are you not at all? I mean, no, but. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) That's why we do this. Oh, I love this. All right, so who wants... Do you want to go first? Well, um... Or do you want... You I was you thinking... Have examples. Yeah, I found a list online about some examples, and I'm going to read each one, and you're going to tell me what you think happened. Okay, before we do that, I think we should break down some mandala effect basics. Yeah, yeah, let's... What is the mandala effect? So it was first noted in 2009 by Fiona Broom, who is a paranormal consultant... Ooh. Uh, in discussing uh, changes in uh, between memory and like how people think something or they actually just believe something that happened in the past uh, that they actually didn't happen. And the, t- the term Mandela effect. Um, Mandela. Mandela. Sorry, I, oh, yeah. No, I always Mandela mistake. is the... The pretty artwork that I like to make. Yes. <laughs> Mandela is Nelson Mandela. Yes, Nelson Mandela. So, thousands of people insist that Nelson Mandela died in prison. Then that's not true. He died many years later. Uh, He was in prison for a long time. Probably should have got the facts about Nelson Mandela. But I guess it's not super important because Nelson Mandela didn't die in prison. He was, however, extremely ill in prison. In the 80s. Yeah, there was lots of footage of... um, people in South Africa marching for his, like, for him to be released. Uh, There is his wife discussing on TV about his poor health and, like, how he's, how she misses him. And so... This is a random tangent, but I love Noah Trevor's stand-up when he (laughs) does Nelson Mandela. Really? Yeah. Have you seen his stand-up? No. It's on Netflix and he does such a good impersonation of him. Okay, I need to see this. Anyways, end of side note. Uh, I like it. It's a good side note. <laughs> uh, so people think that the reason why thousands of people think Nelson Mandela died in prison is because in an alternate reality he did. And at some point, uh, certain parts of our population as people have switched realities or switched timelines or switch dimensions, whatever you want to call it. And those people have different memories. I want to believe this memories. so bad. I, I feel like there is alternative realities. Like, I feel like sometimes my life is like one of those write your own story or like, you choose know. Choose your own adventure books. Yes. Your life is a choose your own adventure book. Yeah, but I feel like I would always cheat and like save the two pages like oh. go to page 96 go to page 36 and i'd go to both and see which one i liked more <laughs> <laughs> i but, guess you can do that So sometimes i overthink it like when i'm making choices in my life now as an adult i'll be like i just want to see how it would go the other way yeah so unfair i wonder that too where i'm like i wonder how different my life would have been if i had changed or if i had done things differently in the past but like that's not really an alternate reality. I mean... I feel like you could go off into an alternate reality, though. Like, what about the Alex? What if there's an alternate reality where you came over to my house instead to record this? I guess... Yeah, you're right. In, like, string theory, the theory is that any other possible thing that could happen, there is another reality where that exists. 
So. And then I think of that, and I it like boggles my mind because there's so many strings. Like, yeah, everyone has. I, there's just so many different choices, and it's it's too much. It's like it's too grand. It's too huge. It's like it incomprehensible. I can't even say incomprehensible <laughs> because that's just how big it is. Every single option that is possible exists in another plane. Like that's <laughs> bonkers. <laughs> it's interesting but it's bonkers i liked that <laughs> like <laughs> but i think it's too it's too complicated of an explanation i think the simplest explanation is the most likely which is that we're retarded yeah also <laughs> so it's like have you played that game of okay you've, done, you've played it telephone where you yeah. whisper at one end and then it's like a completely different saying mm-hmm. at the other end yeah that's yeah, what i yeah. think most of this is is just yes. like so and so told so and so and it got messed up along the way it's that and it's um people constructing their own memories yeah. on accident even or isn't that like when with like murder cases or like yeah so eyewitness accounts are super um unreliable Mm -hmm. they're poor they're really bad they're easily manipulated it's they don't you can't use them in court you can't use them in court um anymore or you probably can a little bit i'm not sure what the exact rules are that let me put my lawyer hat on no yeah i don't have one of those. just kidding i don't either (laughs) and when they are used um it's like they're it might convict the wrong person Mm -hmm. like so i don't because your brain can change things like we're not experts on this, guys. No. This is my theories. I wrote something about it, though. Our memory is malleable, selective, and biased, and we see the world through the lens of what we understand and what we want to believe. Admitting that you don't remember something is more helpful than filling in the gaps of your memory with whatever you want. So I think it's important for us to remember that if we can't clearly remember something, we just need to... Stop talking. Just f- fucking forget it. Because we're going to make up shit. Whether or not <laughs> I'm we I'm terrible like at this. I'm just like, yeah, this definitely happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I'm talking about even two weekends ago, like, I, I don't quite remember exactly everything that happened oh, yeah. every day. Same. Samesies. I just remember the things that I cared about. Like, that's it. Just so, the highlights. Just the highlight reel of your life. That's all you got. And then even that's probably fake anyways. <laughs> So depressing. <laughs> so. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> um, do you want me to go through the list now? I think you should. All yeah. right. First one, Nelson Mandela. Mm-hmm. You think he died? Heck no. He's, I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's dead now, but he <clears throat> died a I don't think he died in the ago. 80s. I think everyone's just confused. Yeah. Here's what, number 24. Oh, this is a list of 25, mm-hmm. by the way. Okay. Number 24 is the Bernstein Bears. Not, this one confuses me. I never know how to say it. It's Berenstain. That's, like, the real way. Yeah. But what do people think it is? Berenstain. 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 And I'm over here just saying some other some, stuff. It's okay. Yeah. It's <clears throat> it's Berenstain because um, S-T-A-I-N, the names that end in S-T-A-I-N are way less common than Stein. Think of, like, Einstein or, you know, any other Germanish sounding name, like... They end in Stein a lot. Mm-hmm. Stain is not very common at all, so that's why people think it's Baron Stein. Because they... This one just messes me up, because I don't know how to say this, but I feel like when I was younger... I don't know, I feel like I heard Bernstein, but also, this is another memory trick, like... You probably did, because other people probably said it that way. Mm-hmm. And it's not a common, um, like vowel usage it's not common in any other words so it's easier for you to mess up all right going on oh billy graham's death i don't even know who this is he's a preacher oh billy graham a popular american christian evangelist is alive yet many people including fiona broom remember graham's funeral on tv some people even remember remember the funeral in detail with bill clinton speaking words on graham's honor He's like a preacher guy that also was like a he like talked to leaders as oh a an advisor. He was an advisor. Okay, some people think he died. Some say he's or he's definitely still alive. He's yeah, and so 
like with the um the Nelson Mandela dying thing, like I think it's because there's a lot of footage of things that relate to Nelson Mandela and his poor health, and that's why people think he died. Just assumed and made yeah. it up in their brains. And Billy Graham, there's like he did a lot of sermons. He did like big shows on TV about like yeah, you know, stuff like that. So I'm sure people filled in the blanks with that and think he died even though he's not dead. Well, fun fact, I didn't even know who he was. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Billy oh, Graham. Oh, the portrait. Yeah. <clears throat> Henry yep. VIII. Henry VIII portrait, which I just listened to an amazing podcast, The History Chicks. Oh my yeah. goodness. I listened to the Anne Boleyn one. Yes. Have you did, have you listened to their podcast yet? Yes. I can't remember what one I listened to, but they're awesome. They, if you like podcasts, which you probably do if you're listening to this, <laughs> <laughs> um, the History Chicks has a really great podcast, and they do episodes on um, women in history. Yeah. Anyways, it just reminded me of that, because Henry VIII, so this one is Henry VIII's portrait. The This portrait of Henry VIII was painted by Hans Holbein. I don't know if I said that right. I just want to say cool. <laughs> the, <laughs> the younger, circa 1540. As you can see in this picture, maybe we'll post a picture on Instagram. There is nothing in the king's right hand, but many people swear the king was holding a turkey leg in his right hand. Um, I feel like I've seen this picture. I mean, maybe there are a lot. There are other paintings with people holding turkey legs and it's, during that time. Yeah, and it's like a Renaissance look. Like you're fucking giant ass there probably is so yeah. that you get for like 12 dollars at a ren fair like that's what it is so yeah. like they just fit the theme together yeah um yeah. that was also one not very convincing no how many states are there krista it's 50 i want to say i know there's 50 states but every time like i think of it quickly in my head i'm like 51 there yeah so number 21 on the list is number of u.s states in this mandela effect it is is a bit surprising. The United States of America is a federal republic consisting of 50 states, right? So why do so many people recall the United States, including 51 or even 52 states? Because of the territories? Territories, or like, you know, when you look at a map and then you see Alaska and Hawaii on the sides? Yeah. I figure people are just dumb and they're, they're like, just oh. adding Alaska yeah. and Hawaii. 50, <laughs> like it just messes here. up their brain. There's 50 here. One continental, and, and then there's two islands. I bet that's why so many people do it. I think, I swear there are people that think Alaska's an island, too. Oh, oh for sure. People are just retarded. They're just dumb. 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 <laughs> so, get your lives. <laughs> no how many states there are. Um. Oh, oh, boy. The list is loading. I went to the next page. That's cool. What's that word? Canonization of I, Mother Teresa. What? what? Is, I think when she became a saint or whatever. Canonization. I don't really like Mother Teresa. And I hope that isn't... No, she's not cool. No. No. She sucks. She, like... She just looks nasty and grouchy in this picture that I'm looking at. Yeah. I guess we can go more onto that another day if we want to, but um, she's problematic, to say the least. It's not even one of my favorite ones, so I'm skipping it because I'm bored Mm -hmm. with her already. (laughs) (laughs) Bye! Um, we are the champion lyrics. Oh, okay. Quiz me on that, because I know that song. Um, what's the final lyrics? Like, how does it end? Uh, a no world. time for losers, because we are the champions of the world. It's not. There's no of the world. No. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So okay, says, I'm a believer now. Because we all... Oh, wait, I was reading the lyrics again. Wow. But in <laughs> fact, there is no of the world. The song just ends because we are the champions. And it's driving so many people crazy because they feel 100% positive um, that they're sure that they've heard otherwise in the I, past. I have. Yep. That's me right there. Yeah. Every time I sing it, I always say... And, like, the whole... Because you're always singing it at like, a wedding or something with a bunch of white people. Say, yep. of the world. Yeah. Once one of those white people get rowdy songs. <laughs> yeah. It really is. <laughs> white people get so turned <laughs> up. <from. laughs> oh, yeah. It's like oh, yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, like, for sure. We requested that song at prom and rocked out in the middle with n- of the, like, dance dance floor with no one else. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you were there. I was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just quiet and in the background, like always. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that was a good one. Because I've always thought it ended that way. But it, in fact, does not. I looked it up because I was like, no. 
Well, now I believe in the Mandala effect, and I think <gasps> that we have <laughs> There's an alternate reality. There's an alternate universe where Krista sings, of the world! <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's that's the kick. That's the believing point. Okay, me. going on. Okay. I'm glad you're a believer. Thanks. The number 18, <laughs> the explosion of the space shuttle Challenger. The second orbiter of NASA's space shuttle program, the space shuttle Challenger, exploded on... January 28th, 1986, resulting in the death of all seven crew members. However, many people recall it exploding earlier. Most of them are convinced that the accident actually happened in 1984. I have no opinion on this because I was not born. I <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I don't remember anything happening, but I know something happened because one of the teachers was named Krista and... You were like... And I was like... And it was shook. spelled the same as me too. So I was like... No, Krista, she died in space. <laughs> and I felt a kindred to her. So. so, for no good reason other than that, we had the same name and we both liked space. And do you have any idea? What no. Year that, yeah, it, just, it blew it, up sometimes in the 80s. It happened whenever NASA said it happened. <laughs> I believe NASA always. Yeah. <laughs> please don't come after us. <laughs> NASA, please. We know you're listening. Here's a good one. You know mm-hmm. the show with... Um, about sex and I'm gonna ruin this because <laughs> I don't I... explain yourself because oh, there's what's lots of shows name? like that. Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah, okay. what show is she in? Sex in the City. That's because people argue what the name of that show is. Oh, is it Sex in the City, in the City, or and the City? I think it's Sex in the City. That's what I thought, but in fact, it's, it's actually not sex, sex and the it's City. Sex and the City. That doesn't make sense because it's always. It, they always what? have sex in the city, right? I don't like sex and the city. That Here's what number 17 great, says. Blow off my mouth. The iconic romantic comedy television sherry- series produced by HBO is called Sex and the City, but many people insist they remember it being Sex in the City. I remember it being Sex in the City. Oh, for sure this is one. Sex and the City is hard to say. And it's stupid. It is stupid. Like, sex and... The city. It's like Sex two... in the city. Yeah. Yeah. It, two separate things. For sure. There's the show, alternate The universes. show isn't about sex and the city. I didn't watch I this for the longest time the until last year. Yeah. It's so great. It's really? So, it's so 90s. Okay. It's just terrible. Like, how embarrassing they are. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. I hate... I hate her clothes, though. Like, I, I think Yeah, I know. That's why it's so fun to watch. Because she okay. has terrible taste. And, and it's just so dated already. It's not even, like, yeah. super old. I, I think in high school, didn't we see the movie? I think you Wouldn't and Danae mean... did, and I was like, I'm not gonna go watch that. <laughs> I've never watched the show. I had, didn't see, I didn't watch the show either. I can't remember why we went to see the movie, but I did. I think because everyone was like, oh my goodness. It sex. was like a girl thing to yes. do at the time. Which one are you? Are you a Miranda? Are yeah. You a oh, I definitely took the quiz, even though I don't know who any of them are. I know. I, I, I was the slutty old one, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever that one was, Samantha. Was it a Samantha? Yep. Okay. Like I said, I just started watching the show last year. It's the only reason I know all the characters now. Okay. Okay. Anywho, going mm-hmm. on to number sixteen, mm-hmm. Jif Peanut Butter. Is it Jif or Jiffy? It's Jif. I looked at your phone. Cheater. I would have said Jiffy. <laughs> um, I feel like I remember it being Jiffy, but this one I'm not very shocked about because I feel like people would give it nicknames or they would just see Jiff and somebody said Jiffy and then it kind of stuck. But mm-hmm. the leading peanut butter in the United States since 1981, Jiff peanut butter is a very popular snack, but in, al- in an alternate memory, recalling people are calling it as Jiffy peanut butter is widespread. Whatever. Somebody's aunt. Susan probably said Jiffy. Yeah, and definitely. Definitely Susan said that. Um, Susan. At work, I often have to help people find stuff like peanut butter because it's for Wick. Mm-hmm. And they would always say, I need Jiffy. I'm like, okay, you need peanut butter. I wonder, like, I don't remember, I remember peanut butter commercials, but I wonder if in, like, any other slogans or whatever, maybe somebody said Jiffy. Maybe. Maybe it was on TV or something. Yeah. Some, somebody messed up there. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch or read Curious George books? No. Me neither. I hate that stupid monkey. <laughs> but he's number 15 on the list. Okay. <laughs> Do, does he have a tail? Yes or no? I have no idea. 
Yeah, good. Good answer, because okay. he's stupid. But <laughs> okay. there's they have the cartoon now, and my daughter watches it, and it's just the monkey's annoying, and the guy with the stupid yellow hat. I don't know why he annoys me the so much. The man with the yellow hat. Yes. Does he not have a name? He's just the man with the yellow yeah. hat. Yeah. Like, how insensitive, stupid monkey. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Anyways, so Curious George, the main protagonist of a series of the popular children's book by the same name, is a little chimp monkey without a tail. Yet a lot of people claim to remember seeing him use his tail to swing from tree to tree. Don't. Yeah. Mon- Don't care. Chimps have tails? Mm, apes do not. And so Curious George. He's an ape, baby? I don't know. I don't matter. I don't know monkeys. Maybe we should do an episode about monkeys. Let's not and say we did. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I don't like monkeys either. <laughs> I don't care enough right now. Um, the Darth Vader phase. Oh, phrase. yeah, yeah. What does he say? He what's says... The, what's the iconic? It's not... Luke, I am your father. Doesn't he just say, I am your father? He says... And the Emperor Strikes Back, where Darth Vader tells Luke Skywalker, no, I am your father, is no. very misremembered as Luke, I am your father. That's right. It's no instead of Luke. No, I, I am your father. I feel like a lot of people just messed this up because they watched it once and it was just like, oh, so And they were dramatic. young. Also, yeah. in Tommy Boy, when he has the fan with uh, Chris Farley and he's bored at work and he goes... Luke, I am your father into the oh. fan. That's why I always said it because to- like because Farley said Boy. it. Yeah, yeah. I only watched Star Wars like once, but I watched Tommy Boy probably ninety six times See, as a child. Opposite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, seen Tommy Boy. What? That's What's, shouldn't be shocking at this point. It's not <laughs> shocking, but eight year old Alex is shook right now. <laughs> Because I would sing, there's a part where he puts on, you've never seen it? Oh, I'm about to blow your mind with this awesome song. He puts on David Spade's little jacket and Chris Farley's huge. And (laughs) David Spade's like, take my jacket off, fat man. Or again, probably not the exact wording. But he goes, fat man in a little coat. (laughs) And he goes, and it rips. And (laughs) David Spade gets mad. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) I specifically remember that. Fat man, a little coat thing because I would quote it because all the cool kids were quoting it. Oh, really? Yeah. The cool kids, huh? Yeah, probably you. Oh, my alarm's going off. Uh, rut row. It's out there. We should get Outside that. It's gonna closet. bug me. <laughs> <laughs> and now, time for a brief word from our sponsors. <laughs> Just kidding, we don't have sponsors. <laughs> it's also hella hot in here. Yeah. No, just, we should leave that open. Okay. We're gonna die. Okay. It's cool. I was down to be saunaing it up. I can't sauna. No. Not uh, right now. Okay, so that was number... D- Darth Vader's phrase was number 14. Oh, that fresh air feels so nice. We just... <laughs> we opened the door to the closet, and it is a breath of fresh air. Literally. Uh, it also smells like frankincense. <sighs> Anyways. Mm-hmm. Number 13. C-3PO's leg. Oh, I know this one. What do you remember? He has a silver leg. Actually, there... <laughs> this is what it's saying. I'm not... I don't know. Actually. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> there is another Star Wars related ma- Mandela. Wow, that is really hard in my head. Yeah. I want to say Mandala every time. Mm-hmm. In episode four, A New Hope, many fans recall C-3PO being completely gold, so they were greatly surprised when they discovered that he had a silver leg the entire time. In fact, a lot of memorabilia do not even feature the silver leg. Mm-hmm. Well, so the graining of the old movies mm-hmm. made it pretty hard to tell. Oh. The lighting wasn't always the best. I mean, it so I'm not going to lie to you. When I was reading these before we started the podcast, I mm-hmm. thought C-3PO... I know the difference. I've watched Star R2-D2. Wars. R2-D2. I, I was thinking about that little R2-D2 yeah. robot, and I was like... R2-D2 is the cute one. With the, like, blue and silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know the characters. C-3PO just... is Anthony Daniels, yeah. the actor, who I saw live what? one time. 
it was pretty, it was probably one of the most nerdy things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I went to a Star Wars orchestra, like, show, and Anthony Daniels hosted it. And That's he, amazing. And it was really cute, because he had, like, a black suit on and a gold tie, and yeah. I was like, it's Aww. easy 3PO. <laughs> and he did the voice, like, That's the so entire cool. time. <laughs> okay, so, moving mm-hmm. on. Number 12, I have no idea what this is, but maybe you do. Lindbergh Baby. Yeah. I, no. It happened quite a while ago in 1932. Um, I'll read it, but then we'll go on because I don't know anything about this story. Mm-hmm. In one of the most famous and publicly watched cases of kidnapping that has ever happened in the U.S., Charles Augustus Lindbergh Jr., a 20-month-old toddler, was found dead May 12, 1932. Some people, however, remember the kid was actually never found. There are also several alternative memories of the spelling of the name of Lindbergh. This is shitty police work. Shitty police work and freaking depressing. Moving yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Tank Man. <gasps> no, Tank Man's a sad story. What? Wow, thanks a lot, <laughs> list25.com. Just real freaking bummer. Oh. Um, I don't actually know anything about this story either, but I'm going to read oh, it. Oh, man. Also known as the Unknown Protester, the yeah. Tank Man was... An unidentified man who stood in front of a column of tanks June 5th, 1989, after the Chinese military had suppressed the... T... I can't read... Tiananmen Square protest of 1989 by force. Yeah. The identity and fate of the man officially remain unknown, but many people have a vivid memory of the man being run over and killed by tanks. No, yeah, that didn't happen at all. But, um, but it's still sad. It's hella sad because Tank Man is definitely dead. Oh. Because <laughs> should the Chinese army, the Chinese government sucks and uh, murdered him amongst all those people. I mean, not amongst them, but they were celebrating the fact that they put down the protesters in Tiananmen Square, which they murdered them too. So, That's terrible. Yeah. Oh, and I guess from legend has it i don't know if this is true and i should look into it because it's although it's a sad story it's a good one um that one of his children was killed in tiananmen square and that's why he was standing in front of the tanks oh it's terrible yeah well good news people the next one's not freaking depressing (laughs) oscar (laughs) meyer it's just about hot dogs it's about hot dogs (laughs) Woo. um i hate the Oscar Mayer song because I can't, I'm such a terrible speller and it hurts my head because I don't know how to spell very well and so people are just, like spelling it out and I'm like ah oh, what comes next I don't know yeah okay the famous do you remember so do you remember how Meyer is spelled in Oscar Mayer weenies no nope. okay me neither but I do know John Mayer one of my favorite singers <laughs> is Mayer don't call him Meyer, Meyer. okay 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 um. So, that reminded me of this. The famous brand of hot dogs and lunch meats is actually Oscar Mayer. Although, so many people remember as Mayer. Okay, it's M-A-Y-E-R. But a lot of people remember it as M-E-Y-E-R with an E instead of an A in the first syllable. So, it's one of those just uncommon vowel Bunch of people don't know how to spell. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's it. That's really it. I don't know how to spell either, so it's okay. This one I don't think is confusing at all. It's number nine, and it's Leo DiCaprio's Oscar. It was a long-awaited and historical moment when Leonardo DiCaprio finally won his first Oscar in February 2016. However, some people clearly recall the ceremony where DiCaprio won the Oscar happening several years before. No. No, because he... It was so funny. That's why I was like, is he going to get the Oscar this year? And he finally got it. And I was like, oh, no more of those jokes. (laughs) Uh, Come on, people. (laughs) Patrick, no, number eight, Patrick Swayze's Recovery. I don't remember this at all either. No. Um, a popular American actor and dancer, Patrick Swayze, you're dancing, died of pancreatic cancer on September 14th, 20, um, 2009, age 57, but some people remember him making a full recovery from the deadly disease. I don't remember at all, like this. From what disease? Um, pancreatic cancer. Oh, I don't know. I, I just remember saying it or something. Oh no, I knew it was cancer because they had like oh. pictures of him, and maybe because I like Dirty Dancing so much, that's okay. why I paid attention. But um, he was on magazines at like the grocery store forever, and oh. like I remember being like, "Okay, he died. I don't want to be reminded of this. I'm real sad." Weird. I know. Oh, the Monopoly Man. Does yeah. he have a monocle? No. 
Or Monaco. How do you say it? Monocle. Monocle. Mm-hmm. He doesn't? Mm-mm. Yeah. I only know that because I looked at a whole bunch of lists, too. I uh, thought he had a monocle before. I kind of did, but then I kind of... I think people get it mixed up with the peanut butter guy. Yeah. Or not the peanut butter, there, the peanuts. It's, it's a whole look, like the top hat, monocle, and cane. Yeah. So, Usually it just uh-huh. goes with it, so people pair it. It's so, just to set the tone of that person, like, yeah. they're a rich asshole. <laughs> His name is Mr. Punny, Penny Bags or something like that. Oh, okay. It doesn't say here, but I read another list, too. I thought maybe it was, like, Money Bags. It's penny bags. Penny bags. Because I remember thinking, like, what? Yeah, you could carry a lot more <laughs> if it were dollars. Why do you got to Not carry so smart, pennies? Monopoly man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that one wasn't very surprising because people are dumb and mm-hmm. just mix stuff up. Yeah. Sri Lanka location. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Sure, sure, sure. I've always said Sri Lanka. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. Okay. I mean, you're the one that went Sri to Thailand. Thailand. I should know this. I'm embarrassing. <laughs> um, the Mandela effect also frequently occurs in geography, as many people remember islands, land masses, and countries in alternate locations. One of the most common alternate memories is related to Sri Lanka. A lot of people remember this island being located south of India, not southeast, as the maps show. I think cool. I remember where it was because there was a hurricane while we were in high school. Mm-hmm. And our all the churches, like all the thousand in Othello, were coming together and making like boxes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I helped with that. So I think I knew where it was. <gasps> Pikachu's tail. Did you read this one? No. Does Pikachu have black on his tail? I don't know specifically if he does or doesn't. Yes or no, Crystal. There's a yes or no answer. No. <laughs> You're just supposed to admit you don't know. I shine the light on Crystal's eyes like, tell me. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm terrified right now, but I think he has black on his tail. No black. Oh, my God. I loved Pokemon, and I was a nerdy little kid with a bunch of Pokemon cards. This Pikachu mouse character did have black on his tail. This is... Lies. Maybe he did. Many Pokemon fans remember Pikachu, the most iconic character of the series, having a black tip at the end of his tail. Some would, some of them would draw Pikachu all the time, and they would swear that he had a black tip at the end of the tail. Well, not in this reality. Wah, wah, wah. Not in this reality. Seriously, he looks so naked without... Ugh, it's so I don't know. Snow White's queen. Snow White mm. Queen's phrase. What does she say? She says, because I know the answer. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> Magic mirror and the wall instead of mirror mirror, which everyone thinks she says. Because mm-hmm. mirror mirror on the wall had been repeated. Several times. A whole bunch of other times after. This one also doesn't Snow surprise White. me because people didn't watch movies over and over again like we do now. Like back yeah, when good point. this came out. So they probably watched it once and it's like... Bad memories. They're just like, oh, and mirror, kids. mirror. And their kids. Which I think mirror, mirror on the wall doesn't make any sense. Why is she saying mirror twice? Like, mirror. Magic mirror Mirror on better. the wall. Yeah. yeah. Magic mirror on the wall. As in noting that it is magic. I hated Snow White. I'll talk to my mirror, mirror if I want. It's a dumb movie. Yeah, Snow White's dumb. I don't like it. She dumb. She dumb hoe. Martin Luther King Jr.'s death. Uh, he was assassinated. How? By a person, an angry white man with a gun, is what I'm guessing. What kind of gun? A pistol? The official version describing the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. says he was shot and killed by sniper (gasps) James Earl Ray on April 4th. Tomorrow? Ah, the anniversary! Weird. Is that tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Um... In Memphis, Tennessee, the gun was a Remington Game Master rifle, owner and fired by Ray. Nevertheless, many people remember Martin Luther King Jr. being killed with another weapon, mostly a handgun or a bomb. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was I was guessing yeah. a handgun, but... Um, I knew it was know. a gun, but I'm also bad with weapons, so I just... I knew... I didn't think it was a bomb. No, I didn't. I didn't it was a gun, was a bomb. in my memory. Mm-hmm. Next one is Disney World. Some people remember... Have you ever been to Disney World? No. Me neither, so this one I didn't really or, care about. Or land or whatever. Any of them. I've been to Disneyland, but there's better things to do with your life. I'm an adult, and... Just kidding. I would love to go to I'm Disneyland. I'm an adult, and it looks fun as shit. <laughs> Actually, no. I want to get drunk at Disneyland. <laughs> um, that would be amazing. That would be fun. 
Yeah, I want to go back. I went when I was 13, but let's I also do don't want to deal with crowds, and, like, lines. So let's go on a weekday in, like, fall when people are in school. Well, that's a good idea. Uh-huh. We went, me and my family, when I was 13, went when I was, or we went um, Mother's Day, thinking not wouldn't be too packed. Mother's Day and Christmas Day are the <gasps> busiest a- days. Oh, really? Weird. That's not what I would have guessed. I know. Maybe like 4th of July or something. Samesies. We were all shocked. We are like, great. You and everyone else thought Mother's Day would not, would be chill, but it was not chill. Okay. Some people remember entering the Magic Kingdom through the castle. Another alternate memory is that the castle was much closer to the end of the main street than it really is. So, I've never been to Disney World, so I have no idea where the castle's at, but apparently it's messed up in everyone's memory. And the last and final one of this list is Neil Armstrong's death. Is he dead? Is he? Just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know this <laughs> He didn't one. die in space. <laughs> he did. One of the oh. world's most important astronauts. <laughs> I, we're going to sound so insensitive in this, one, this podcast. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, everyone. It's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> One of the world's most important astronauts and first person to walk the moon, if you believe that junk. Yeah. The moon. You still believe in the moon? Jeez, people. <laughs> Get, Get your lives. together. <laughs> Neil Armstrong died on August 25th, 2012 in Cincinnati, Ohio. But there is a common belief among his fans that he died one year later. <laughs> Those fans just got their calendar wrong. <laughs> yeah, because there's so many fans, like, no, researching the No, he was alive for a whole year after that. Like, ask that his mom. Year. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> terrible. Um, so one of the things that's not on this list that Krista had on her list that I saw before we started recording was Sinbad in Kazam. <laughs> hmm. I believe this. This with- is a contentious topic. <laughs> I believe this, because I remember being little and thinking, this is so stupid, they made Shazam with Shaquille O'Neal, why would they try to make this movie again and try to pull the wool over my eyes? (laughs) (laughs) Little Alex was quite the cynic. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I was real pissed off as an (laughs) eight-year-old. Uh... It's just because Sinbad was in a lot of things, a lot of comedy. Where he's a genie? I think there was a... No, no, no. Okay, so there's a YouTube video about this, but he um, was in, like, this questions about the 80s sort of thing, and he was in, like, a genie outfit. Oh. And then there was also all the, like, TV shows. Like, he has... He's a snazzy dresser. Like, he wears, like, billowy <laughs> tops and, like... Genie shoes? Genie shoes. <laughs> And, like, just, like, assorted, like, a fanciful, fanciful, like, dress. Like, I don't know. He knows how to pull off a good blouse as a man. (laughs) I can't breathe. (laughs) So, if you can picture him as a genie, you could easily make up the memory that there was a whole movie about him as a genie. I just really remember being an angry child about this movie, but at the same time, I have a terrible memory also, <laughs> you so... Real problems. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you're not alone. There are tons of, tons of people that think that Sinbad was in a movie called... What was it? Shazam. Shazam. But it's just Kazam. Also, there... Another thing I think... So... It's a cartoon about superheroes, and there is a genie t- person named Shazam, I think. And that's another reason oh, I got confused. Yeah. I'm going to look it up, because there's just so much Shazam. Oh, it's also the music um, finder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Shazam, Shazam, if you need to know what the music is. Just Shazam it. You can also use Snapchat. Look at this guy. Oh, it's a superhero. It's a superhero. What was that superhero called? Uh, or a super show? I don't know. Me and my brother. So I think it was Justice League. It was. Okay. So he, there's a genie on Justice League named Shazam, but he's not black. He's like Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> True that. Um, Shazam. That's one of those common ones, you know. So I got one. After going through that hella long list of 25 things. <laughs> Sorry. 
It's okay. Like, there are so many examples of the Mandela effect because it's super easy for you to just make up whatever memory you want. And you're probably not alone because our brains kind of, like, although we're all different people, our thought process is pretty similar. Mm -hmm. And especially if we all come from the same place and have seen the same things on TV over and over again. Your brain will make it true. Yeah. Your brain will make it true and also... Like, collectively, we'll make up the same memory, and you're going to come across somebody that has a false memory that is similar to yours, and together you can influence each other's false memory, and then it'll seem like it's even more real. I still believe in alternate universes, but I think okay. there's a lot of explanations <laughs> to this. Um, so, in 1979, there was a James Bond movie called Moonraker. The bad guy is named Jaws. He is a guy with metal teeth. Mm-hmm. And I remember his... this. Where is this going? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Like, Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> um, a guy with metal teeth. His love interest and crime partner, I'm guessing, um, her name is Dolly, was remembered to have braces. So, if you could picture Dolly. like Moon, So, Moonraker, a movie about uh, James Bond, guy named Joss, is the bad guy. He is this giant guy uh, like, he seems like he's eight feet tall in the movie. He has big metal teeth. And I remember he's, this like, movie super being buff. cheesy. Super yes, it looks super cheesy. And Dolly is, like, this small blonde girl with glasses and what people to remember... Oh, she has pigtails. People remember that she has braces. Um, it would have been cute if she had braces because then there would have been a visual compliment between her and Jaws. Like, yeah. the reason why they like each other is because they both have metal, mouth. metal teeth. But she doesn't. She doesn't have braces. Um, there was a review right when the movie came out. Um, the reviewer mentioned, uh, that if she had braces, It would like, have been it, better. It would have been better. It was like, you know, he said it in better words but like yeah. basically like um the the compliment like the visual compliment would have been there but i think that when you look at pictures of the movie you see that she has glasses like big awkward round glasses mm-hmm. and i think that that's a visual compliment like they look both like awkward outcasts. and outcast yeah they look like awkward cute outcasts together and people uh, probably just remembered her having braces because he was metal mouth. Yeah. And so to me, the those the glasses creates a connection between the characters with metal on their face, both having an odd facial quirk about them that complements each other, even though it's not the most obvious one. Yeah. So I think what people want to do is take the easy explanation and mm-hmm. make that true rather than analyze also, a little bit more. Also, it's not important stuff. Like, no, it's not. It's a small detail. So your mind's not focusing it on it. It's just like, oh, yeah, it probably happened because you don't care. Yeah. And I think since, you know, it's it's just a little, like, visual component to, like, this movie that has probably a lot going on, like, it's easy to miss. Uh, so I think probably in, like, everyday life, <laughs> you need to remember that just because you... Memory <laughs> plays real tricks on us people. Yeah, yeah. And even, like, in your day-to-day life, if you try to remember something that happened to you, you're going to remember the parts that you want to. And Exactly when we try to tell you about our weekends. I forget so much stuff. <laughs> I forget so much, too. Yeah. I can tell you how I felt the entire time. Mm-hmm. I feel like I remember feelings. Details? Better. No, not so yeah. much. Mm-mm. Okay. Had to be there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you had to be, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I have been journaling for a long time and it helps my memory totally yeah but it's really great to journal mm -hmm. and then you have the the facts you have the journal of the facts of things that happened although mine are just like spews of thoughts yeah coming out like (laughs) it's so good (laughs) yeah i i go back on journal old journals and i'm like oh my gosh i totally forgot about that yeah I go back, like, even a couple months ago, yeah. I forget about things. Or I'm like, wow, I really thought that? Like, that was not that long ago. So weird. I was totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so scary. Yeah. And it's just one of those weird things. Like, you can trust your memory, but only to a certain point. We all are biased oh, in yeah. our own ways. 
Um, All right. Should we wrap it up? I think so. Well, I mean, I feel Unless like... you have more. Not really. No, I think that was it. I thought I could go on and on about this James Bond Moonraker situation, but I think I got the main points out there. It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I tried your points on it. I don't actually remember the movie at all. I just remember the Metal Mouth guy. I've never seen the movie, oh. uh, but the Metal Mouth guy, I remembered because there was, like, references to him and other things you yeah. have seen. So. Hmm. Um, My final thoughts? Yeah. I believe in alternate universes, but like, I think... For the Mandela effect, which I keep saying right, go me. <laughs> um, I think people are just bad memory. Yeah. Mostly. Mm-hmm. But there's every once in a while, I think it's an alternate universe crossing over. Yeah, I don't think that at all. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I like the idea of alternate realities because then there's one where I'm Batman or something. Oh, you know. Batman. Yeah, like there's an alternate reality where There's like I'm... a time traveling Batman Krista that pops up from behind the door. Oh, I'm Batman. And then she's gone yeah. and she's like, Gotcha bitches and like <laughs> like, damn it, see, I told you. <laughs> yeah, that's getting drawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I also like I can't think about this kind of stuff because then I also think that there's an alternate reality where I get murdered and then I'm like, Well, maybe this is the one. Yeah, there's probably an alternate universe, or alternate reality, where the guy with the pipe in Portland... Fucking murdered you. Done. Yeah. Yeah. So... For sure. You got lucky, because you're in the reality where that didn't happen. I stayed sexy and didn't get murdered. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan Hartstark and Karen Kogarif. Love mm-hmm. you guys. Someday, maybe you'll listen to this. We'll have a crossover. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yeah, what else? I mean... We've really done this one to death. I, I mean, think so. I'm not a believer. Alex, you want to I'm believe. a believer. <laughs> and, um, yeah. What are your plans for this next week? Well, I already said it, but I'll say it again so Felix. everyone can remember. That's right. I'm doing henna this weekend at the Red Lion in Kennewick. Come see me. Come see my booth. It's the Healing Light Expo. Uh, I would say the dates, but I don't really remember. 7th and 8th. I think. And that's it. Mm-hmm. What are you doing this weekend? Uh, I'm going to Seattle and going to get drunk and listen Yay-o. to house music. Heck yeah. And- <laughs> We're back to our normal roles. Yeah, our normal routine. Um, But you should follow us on... Everything. Instagram, which is the SenseCast, right? Yep. You should follow us on Twitter, which is the SenseCast. You should follow me on Twitter. I think I'm underrated. I tweet some really funny stuff. Yeah, you have really funny <laughs> tweets. I'm horrible at tweeting or Twitter or whatever. And Krista has to, like, screenshot and send them to me so I can laugh. <laughs> and, like, I I have literally 25 followers, but I tweet like I have a billion. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't care. It's all about the little people. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's get Krista some more followers. Yeah. So I'll post my Twitter page. And what else? Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on SoundCloud. Facebook. We, oh, we got a comment <gasps> on our, um. Our, our Facebook? No, our, our podcast on iTunes. Ah! I got an iTunes comment. I'm gonna find read it, it. Read it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> is it, is it my brother? I don't think so. What? We're famous. Um. We've made it. It's, just <laughs> it seems like somebody that doesn't know us. Ooh, there is a comedian that started following us on Instagram. That's right. Who was that? I'm so sorry. I have to look it up. Okay. Short looking up intermission. This is when we need, like, elevator music. Just kidding. I'm bad at elevator music. No, that was really good. Thank you. Um, Where is she at? Aha. The sense. Oh my god, it was a comment on my birthday. It was a birthday present for oh. me. Mac Don <laughs> Don you know? Along. Don Along. Don Along. I I love your name, BTW. That's that really great. Uh it says pretty fun to listen to if you're just drawing or having some free time. Really like it. Keep on going, guys. Thank you. We will. We're ladies, but still. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. We're going to keep going. We got five stars. So rate us on iTunes and give us some comments and 
Be nice, like Mac Dong along. I don't want any mean comments or I'll charge you five dollars. Five dollars. That's what Jamie Loftus did, and it was amazing. Kate Quigley. Thank you for following us. Kate Quigley. Oh yeah, that's right, the podcast. What's her podcast called? Her podcast is called Date Fails. Uh, it's it's really funny. You should listen to it. I connect with her a lot. I've had I've been on lots and lots of dates and ninety nine percent of them have been bad. So I could probably have my own podcast about date fails. But she she's awesome. I like her a lot. Oh my gosh. She's really hot too. And she's very hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like so you should probably check out her Instagram too. Um all right. I think we're good. Um look for our uh if you have any ideas um on what our next podcast should be yeah email us or email us or direct message tweet us whatever you want to do slide into those dms hit a girl up we're here all right thank you for coming this has been the sense it's been real have a good one and i'm in control of the laptop here we go hit pause or no come on pause hit pause (laughs) wait wait hit it again Come on.